The NFL is known for having some top-level IQ plays. I mean, when you think about it, top-level athletes are among some of the smartest parts of the population, but some of the best known, or maybe just some of my personal favorite high IQ plays, are things like the out-of-bounds touch the ball to make it a penalty on a kickoff, which really needs its own name, by the way, because that's a bit of a mouthful, but you also have some other ones like the double punt or the Ravens hold-up play, and you see how easy those are to say? YouTube comments. Give touching the ball on a kickoff when you're out-of-bounds to make it a penalty a name chop chop but today we're going to talk about what i think is actually the smartest play because it's super rare to even have a situation where this is relevant and it's not even the most intuitive thing to pull off in that moment and to make it even better the stakes for this play happening were incredibly incredibly high so the game is broncos versus chargers week six of the nfl season of 22 to 23 now broncos fans i know you suffered enough during the season but let's relive it a bit and eh? i'll jump straight to the fun part both offenses did all this game, putting up a whopping 32 total points in regulation, and if that wasn't exhilarating enough, 20 of those 32 points came on the back of their kickers, and I know how much you love kicking dominated football, but at 30 field goals and one touchdown apiece, this game was forced to go into overtime, where it looked to be more of the same thing with three possessions and three punts. But that fourth punt changed everything. J.K. Scott ripped an absolute missile going 48 yards with 5.7 seconds of hang, which is probably one of the best punts of his career, especially given the circumstances. But what happened when you get too much time to your gunners is you give those gunners time to think, and thinking gunners are dangerous forces. So in the seconds that lead up to the returner attempting the kick, Catch. The gunner, Jasir Taylor, concocts this plan. Currently, there's nothing you can do as the fair catch is happening, but he knows that Locke, the guy that's right in front of him, hasn't seen the fair catch signal, meaning he doesn't know if there's going to be a return. Using this, he brings his arm up like he's trying to just create separation to react to the way that the returner cuts. But this is all a ruse, because as soon as Locke brings his own arms up to try to deter Taylor from getting that level of control over his central mass, without realizing why this is so important, Locke becomes a blocker. And the blocker can be used as a battering ram to disrupt the play, because the refs will see it as just a guy trying to get off the block. Which Jasir does perfectly, pushing him back into the returner, disrupting the catch, forcing the returning team to touch the ball and getting the ball back for the Chargers for the go-ahead field goal to win this game. This is just a moment of pure brilliance and it never gets enough credit for just how quickly this all went down. 